Hey everyone, I hope everyone have a wonderful holiday. Those of you who celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, or Hanukkah, I hope your holidays is doing wonderful. And so I want to talk to you about the five stipulations that Congress has added to the newest um, federal spending bill. So the federal spending bill is done once a year. This is where Congress sends it to the president to sign so that services for the country is been able to be provided for for the coming year. So in this one, there's five stipulations. And one of them is about um, CBD and the FDA having um, permission to test products. So let's get started. So every year this happens, the Congress sends the bill to the president. And what happens is the House starts their version, then the Senate comes up with their version. They have arbitrators who come together and say, yes, we, um, we agree to these terms. And then the bill is sent to the um, president, which in this case, President Trump. Um, and in this bill, there's five stipulations that stand out and I want to go over briefly. So the first one is the bill earmarks or gives um, the FDA $2 million to regulate um, CBD. The $2 million has to be used for research, market monitoring, and if it's issuance of enforcement um, division for when it comes to CBD. Now, the second one is Congress directs the FDA to perform a sampling of the current CBD marketplace. So what that means is if you have a product right now that's being sold online or in stores, Congress gave the FDA permission to test every single um, product that they can and report back to Congress within 180 days on the results. So this means they're gonna check for mislabeling. If your product says 500 milligrams and it only has 250, like we see in a lot of companies, Congress wants to know. Um, if you're adding additives, you're watered, watered down your product by adding things that doesn't need to be there, the Congress wants to know. And this is because, for one, people are selling products that they shouldn't be selling. They're, they're not um, properly labeling their products. Some companies just watering down the products by added additives so that it's not as potent as it, it claims to be. And this leads to you having fines. It leads to you um, being shut down. And what we've seen is the FDA is currently going around to expos. They go into stores, especially in Texas. Um, they're working with local jurisdictions. So like local DAs are going to stores and buying products and getting it tested. And so this is the norm. I um, want everybody to know if this is uh, you in this space to sell CBD. You have to know what you're doing and um, you can't be shut down if you're not doing things the right way. The third stipulation, the, um, the bill directs the um, NIDA, which is the National Institute on Drug Abuse, to provide a brief report on the barriers to research um, that results from the classification of drugs and comp compounds as Schedule One substance, and they have to do it within 120 um, days. So Congress wants to conduct more research, and they want to know what's preventing the um, NIDA from studying um, the plant and to see what the benefits are. And uh, this is one of the way of them starting the process of rescheduling cannabis. The sense in the community is they're not going to. Um, federally legalized cannabis, they're gonna reschedule it and then give it um, the states the rights to uh, make their own regulations. Like you see a lot of states now um, legalize recreational use of, of cannabis. And so this is one of the steps towards making this happen. Now, um, what a popular uh, acceptance, including the head of the NIDA, that um, because cannabis is schedule one, it's hindering progress is hindering us from having proper research. So this is again, a sign that legalization is coming. 
It's just not coming in the normal sense of a federally. It's going to be rescheduled and they want to be able to do research. Now, as some of you who may not know, um, Israel has a big research um, department and they are way ahead of the curve when it comes to um, us here in the United States. All right. So the fourth thing is um, another passage encouraged the NIH, which is the National Institute of Health. And those of you who see all the studies that we always talk about, many of them come from the NIH website. And so the passage uh, considered additional investment in studying the medicinal um, effects and the tox toxicology of CBD and CBG. So the, the one more research done, and this is a way of pushing the industry forward. And I just want to let people know, this is not um, always about us. You have to think about the bigger picture here, which is GW um, Pharmaceuticals. They hold patents on not only CBD, but CBG. So Big Pharma is probably going to benefit this as well in the initial phase, and it's going to trickle down to us. And then lastly, the Congress gave the Agency for Health, Research, and Quality $1 million in grants to research whether CBD and Kratom can serve as alternatives to opioids. So as you see, this is a big step forward. Um, they want to see if um, CBD and Kratom can use to um, help combat the opioid crisis right now. There's millions and millions of dollars that's been invested in, into this. Um, people are dying and people are just being addicted to opioids, which is harming the country on a large scale. And if CBD and Kratom can be used to help our community um, reduce the addiction to pain, kill, uh, pain pills, then um, it's going to be wonderful for us. So these are great things for um, the community. Uh, like I said, 2020 is going to be a big year for us. It's easy to see research come in. This is also where it's important for us to be able to do things the right way and um, just be ahead of the curve. We want to make sure that um, the community as a whole is protected. And as I hear more information, I will gladly um, let the community know. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave us a comment. Please don't hesitate to subscribe to us. Um, here, please um, like this video so that the uh, algorithm can continue to um, support us. Thank you all again. Please don't forget, forget that we have two books, um, CBD for Beginners and How to Grow CBD Indoors for those of you um, who are want to learn about how to grow and just um, the beginning steps of um, the benefits of CBD. Thank you all so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful holiday. And uh, once again, um, let's look forward to an uh, awesome 2020. Much love and thank you all for the support. Bye. There are those that said your pain isn't real. Too slow. Too hard. Too soft. Too old. Too limited. To them, we say too bad. Everyone deserves good and clean CBD products.